Thank you for placing the drop cloth down. We're definitely going to need that later. Uh, when we install an exhaust fan, the first thing we want to look at is the controls for the fan. We have a single pull switch here that controls the light right now, mm -hmm. and what I'm going to do is expand that to add the control for the new fan there. So the power source for the light will now be the power source for the new fan. That's the idea. Got it. Where are you thinking of placing the fan, Brian? Okay, in a small bathroom like this, we want to centrally locate the fan right at the entrance to the shower so that we get the steam from the shower and the ventilation from the rest of the bathroom as well. All right, let's start with the power source. The first thing we've done is shut the power off to the bathroom. And what we have is a power feed coming up from the basement to the switch. From the switch, we have a load wire going out to the fixture. And now I'm going to disconnect the switch. Take that. What we have here is some old insulation on the wire. What is that made out of? Well, it has rubber around the wire and cloth on top of the rubber. But as it gets older, it breaks down. So we're going to coat it in electrical tape so we don't lose the insulation barrier. We're going to tape all the wires inside the box. What we have is a metal box from the switch we took out. Is that right here? That's the one. And we're going to expand this for the new control for the fan. So we need to trace the new metal box on the wall and we'll cut into it. Old plaster crumbles very easily so what I'm going to do is just chip away at the lines and then you can cut with the saw. I want to braise the lath with the screwdriver while I cut for the new box. The bracing with the screwdriver is keeping the lath from moving while I cut. Let me show you what we have here. Here's a box like the one you have in the wall. This is the new box, and we're going to put them together and make one box. How we're going to do that is by taking the side off the box in the wall and the side off the new box and connect them. I've unscrewed the side of the old box, and now I'm going to take the side off, and you can do the same with the new box. Unscrew the top screw. Great. We're up here in the attic now to run the wire from the switch location to the fan. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken up the floorboard, I've located the wire from the switch, to the existing light. So this tells us that we are right on top of that existing switch. Correct. I'm going to drill a new hole right next to that and then run this wire down the hole. Now we'll take the snake and pull the wire down. Okay, I'll just tape the Romex to the snake and we'll pull it down. All right, you getting that through? Yeah. Keep coming. You can see that Romex. All right, Brian, we got it. That's good. All right, Wanda, now that we have the wire down from the attic, you can cut it off from the snake okay, right, right there. there at the end. Great. What I'm going to do is take eight inches of sheathing off and slide this into the new box. We'll take the paper off, exposing the conductors, and we'll slide the wire in the new box. And now we have the wire in. We're going to secure it with this clamp. Anytime you have a metal box, you have to ground the wire to the box. We're going to take this bare wire and wrap it around the green grounding screw, tighten that to the box. Okay, now we slide the new box into the wall next to the old box and screw them together. Okay, the way you're going to control your new fan is with a timer. This timer has 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and 60 minutes. You want to run the fan longer than you're actually in the shower to get the moisture out of the bathroom completely. Your switch has four wires. I've already wired them up. You have a black wire, which is taking the feed that came up from the basement, and we've pigtailed that off so that the existing switch that was in the bathroom before for the light will still have power. We have a white wire, which is connecting to the common neutral in the back of the box. And you have the green wire, which is connecting to the ground wire we connected earlier to the box. And a red wire, which is going to your fan. Now I'll gently fold the wires back into the box and attach the switch to the wall. Now that I've put the switch in for the light and the timer for the fan, you can put the plate on, Wanda. 
All right, let's stand here for you. Great. What we'll do is we'll uh, cut the bathroom ceiling down below and we'll mount the fan up. But we don't want to bring the steam or the moisture up here into the attic. We want to make sure that we vent it to the outside. So you want to duck from the exhaust port to the outside? Correct. And where does this guy go? Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we have this wall right here that we know we've already drilled down. Yeah, that's where our switch is. That's where our switches are. And the shower is directly on the other side. We don't want it directly in the shower. We want it more centered in the bathroom. So how about right here between these two joists in this bay? Does that work for you? That looks great. All right, you want to mark that up? So you're just going to tap a small hole through there? We're actually going to tap a series of holes along the joist to tell us where to cut it from down below. Here are our holes, which mark the joist. We're going to hold the fan up and draw the rest of the cut. Slide this in place and we'll screw it to the ceiling. And we're screwing right into the joist. So we'll have a nice tight connection. With our fan secured to the ceiling, we're going to go up to the attic and make our connections. Up here in the attic, we have the Romex we ran earlier from our switch. We're going to put the Romex connector on. Pinch it down and just screw it in place. It's important that you make sure you use the clamp to hold the Romex in place rather than just putting the wire in the junction box. We don't ever want that connection to come undone. No, we don't want to be able to pull on the wire. The clamp is held in place with a lock nut, which is threaded onto the bottom of the clamp. All right, now we're just going to make the connections from the Romex to our exhaust fan. We have the green wire, which is going to connect to the bare wire from our Romex. That'll enable us to have a ground. These connections are made with wire nuts. That keeps a nice tight connection and mechanically and electrically sound. All we do is the white to white and the black to black. That'll bring our power up and our return down with the neutral. And now we just tuck the wires back into the fan housing. And the final thing is we'll put the cover plate on. Cover plate coming in. Now we have to exhaust the fan. We attached a 90 degree elbow and some flexi duct. And then the flexi duct will run outside the building. Correct. I also like to wrap the connections with duct tape. This keeps the air from escaping. Blue duct tape? The blue duct tape is rated for cold weather. There we go. Whenever possible, I like to go out a sidewall rather than through the roof. No point in going through the roof if you can avoid it. it cuts down on the amount of leaks. So we got a pile hole there from the inside and we're ready to cut on the outside? Exactly. And I'm ready to drill. On the outside, I centered the drill into the course of shingles. Now we're going to apply silicone to the outside of the vent to keep it watertight against the building. Now we slide the vent in place and screw it to the house. Now we put this grill in place to keep any animals from getting inside the house. All right, now I'm just going to make our final connections up here, connecting our exhaust hose to the outside and wonder if you can put the insulation back around the fan so we keep the warm air in the bathroom. Now that I put the power back on in the bathroom, I can install this decorative trim on the fan and wonder if you want to turn it on. Check this out. Wow, 
really so quiet. All right. Well, we can see that there is a draft right oh, there. Yeah. yeah, that's working. Well, congratulations. You've got yourself a fully vetted bathroom. <laughs>